Hi, I'm Nick from GeckoBoard, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a real-time dashboard to keep track of important metrics like CSAT, ticket volume, first reply time and more using GeckoBoard's Zendesk integration. Real-time dashboards can have a huge impact on your team's performance. From making it easier for agents to spot spikes in ticket volume, through to creating a bit of friendly competition that pushes everyone on the team to go that extra mile. The best dashboards are the ones that evolve over time to reflect the specific things that your team are interested in tracking. But in this video, we'll look at how to create a basic customer support dashboard that your team can start using today. Let's get into it. So we're going to start with a blank dashboard, just like the sort that you get when you first sign up for Gecko Board. And the first thing we're going to do is add a widget, which is basically a live visualization of a metric. Scrolling through here, you can see all the different data sources that Gecko Board supports. There are over 60, uh, plus an API and database integration. But we're going to pick Zendesk support, because that's where all of our support data lives. And once you've selected that, you can see a few pre-configured metrics that you can add to your dashboard. So things like tickets requiring attention, unassigned tickets, tickets by tag. But we're going to pick first reply time as our first metric to add. Now, the first time you add a Zendesk widget to your dashboard, you'll be asked to authenticate with your Zendesk account to create a secure connection between Zendesk and GeckoBoard so they can share data with each other. I've already got our Zendesk account connected to GeckoBoard though, so I can already see some data here to play with. And what I'm gonna do is click edit up in the top right. And in here, I've got several options for configuring how I show this metric on the dashboard, ranging from changing the visualization type through to changing the time frame. You can add a comparison so you can visually see how the metric has changed over time. You can add filters. So filtering this metric down by assignee, or you can also dial that in to show it for a group or a channel. And I'm happy with how this is looking right now. So once I'm done with that metric, I can move it about on my dashboard. I can resize it really easily just by dragging and dropping. But one thing I want to do before I'm finished with this is add a status indicator to show when it's doing well or doing poorly. So we want to get our first reply time under three hours. So I've added a warning on there. So anytime it's over three hours, the widget will turn red to flag that for us. And anytime it's under two hours, because that's good, it will turn green for us. So we'll know we're doing particularly well and we're in our target range. So now I want to add more metrics to the dashboard to really build it out. So I've clicked add widget in the top right. I've clicked Zendesk support. So from this list, I'm going to pick customer satisfaction rating or CSAT. And happily, we're at 100%. But I'm going to click in, I'm going to click Edit. And instead of displaying the raw number, I want to display it as a gauge. This is a really great way to present CSAT. I'm going to dial that in to show it for the past seven days, much like our first reply time. And like first reply time, I also want to flag when we're doing particularly well or we need it to focus a little bit more on this metric. So uh, for us, success is anything above 90%. And if CSAT is below 80%, we want to pay attention to this and see what we can do to improve things. And again, this is just a really quick and easy way to visually flag when this metric is performing well or performing poorly. So now this is on the dashboard, I can move it around just like before, but I'm actually going to combine these two metrics into a group because they both show the performance from the past seven days. They're closely related to each other as well. In the group, I can give it a title, so past seven days. And I can customize the label of each metric as well. So it's super clear what each one is. I can resize the metrics within the group and I can also easily resize and move the group around the dashboard as well. So next I want to give these metrics a bit more context by showing ticket volume for the past seven days. Seeing this alongside the other metrics will help myself and the team understand whether or not things have been particularly busy or quiet, as often spikes in tickets can mean that those metrics suffer. So I'm going to go in and select ticket volume. 
I'm going to set it for the past seven days so it matches the time period for the other two metrics. And I'm also going to compare ticket volume to the previous seven days, which gives us an indication of whether ticket volume has been normal or abnormal. For the time being, I'm just going to add that alongside the other metrics in this group. So those are our top line metrics that we're interested in, but there's more we can do with this dashboard. Dashboards can be a great way to create a bit of friendly competition amongst agents. So we're going to create a leaderboard on here that will display our top ticket solvers for the week. If you want, you can also dial this in to show the relative performance of different brands or channels or groups or organizations if that's how you're using Zendesk. So there are our top ticket solvers, but we don't just care about how many tickets we're solving, we also care about the quality of the service that we're delivering. So I'm also going to add a leaderboard that shows our top agents ranked by CSAT during the week. That's not available as a pre-configured widget, so I'm gonna go in and click build your own widget. And from here, I'm going to select the metric I'm interested in. As you can see, there's a whole range of metrics we can select here from unsolved tickets to full resolution time to breached SLAs, SLAs achieved, but we're interested in CSAT. And rather than seeing the overall CSAT on our account, we're just gonna select the leaderboard visualization to have that broken out by assignee. And there we go, there's our leaderboard. So I'm gonna group that with my other leaderboard. Give the group a title, top performers, and then label each of the leaderboards for clarity. And there we go. Another great way to keep the team motivated and engaged is to show customer feedback. So let's add that now. If you want, you can add a filter to show feedback that relates to a specific agent or tag or good or bad feedback. I'm just gonna leave it for the whole team, just showing good comments for the feel good factor. It's a great way to show the team and everyone else in the organization as well how customers are responding to the hard work of the team. Alongside feedback through Zendesk, we also get feedback over Twitter. One of the great things about GeckyBoard is you can add several different data sources to your dashboard. So I'm gonna add a feed that pulls through mentions of our brand on Twitter so we can keep an eye on that as comments pop up. So I'm gonna go in and select Twitter as a data source. And the first time you do this, you'll be asked to connect your Twitter account to GeckoBoard, which just takes two seconds. And you'll then be able to visualize metrics like your follower count or how many times your tweets have been liked. But I'm gonna select mentions. And there we go. Anytime someone shares feedback or asks a question on Twitter, we'll be able to see that appear on our dashboard and we can quickly hop onto Twitter and respond. So now I've got all the information I want up there on the dashboard. I'm gonna do a little bit of tidy up work to make sure that we are presenting the metrics we really care about as clearly as possible so everyone on the team can understand what's going on at a glance. So there we go, that's looking a lot better now with our main metrics up there along the top row and the secondary information below that. There's one more thing I want to do though before I share this with my team and that's to add a logo on there to make it feel a little bit more like it's our dashboard. So I'm going to go up to the customize menu and from there it's really easy to upload your logo which will appear in the bottom left of your dashboard which you can also rename to make it clear to everyone what's on there. So now that that's done, it's time to share the dashboard with my team and we've got a few ways that we can do that. I'm gonna click share and the first thing I can do is create a secure sharing link, which is really easy to share with others in a chat, through an email or to bookmark for future reference. Anytime you or someone else clicks that link, they'll be taken to a live view of your dashboard. It's the quickest way to get your dashboard in front of someone else. Next up is Gekkable Slack integration. 
This allows you to schedule daily snapshots of your dashboard that get sent to a Slack channel of your choice at a time that you specify. It's a great way to help teams keep track of metrics day to day, particularly if you're working towards a longer term goal or objective. Finally, you can invite others to your Gecko Board account to view specific dashboards that you choose. You just need to add their email address and they'll be sent an invite to join your Gecko Board account and see the dashboards that you've invited them to. By far, the most visible way you can surface live metrics in your organization though is to display your dashboard up on a TV or a big screen in your office. You can do that really easily using our Send to TV feature up here. First, you'll need to open up a web browser on your big screen. If you're using a smart TV, that could be the smart TV's browser, or you can use some off-the-shelf hardware, like a mini PC or a Raspberry Pi to get that up and running. And once that's done, you'll just need to follow the instructions here. So go to gbrd.tv. You'll be shown a unique code, which you can then enter into your Gecko Board account. And that web browser will then be paired with your account, ready for you to send a dashboard of your choosing to that screen. So there we go, this dashboard is a great starting point if you're looking to visualize live metrics from Zendesk support, but there are so many other dashboards you could make that are more dialed into specific channels like chat or talk, or even to monitor the performance of your help center. But we'll leave those for future videos. Thanks for watching.